Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews the Home Channel, and today I'm reviewing the Squirrel Buster Mini. There is a regular Squirrel Buster. This is a small version of it. The same principles apply, but it basically holds less seed. But uh, the bigger one has won awards, and this one has won awards in keeping the squirrels from getting into the bird feed that you're trying to put out for the birds. And we've had problems both with uh, squirrels, but for us it's more been the pigeons. Not that I have anything particularly against pigeons, except when they come to eat, they eat the whole thing. When we first put our, our other feeder up um, and the small birds came, the, 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 about that amount of food probably lasted, oh, a week, a week and a half. Once the pigeons found out about it and sent it out on the telegraph that, hey, there's food here, day and a half, the whole thing was emptied. So, and that was all the pigeons. It wasn't that extra birds of other types were coming, it was the pigeons. So we really wanted something both for the squirrels, which aren't as big an issue, but primarily the pigeons. And this is supposed to do the trick. Um, got it for just under $25. Uh, you can probably find it in the bird feeder section of some of your local home improvement stores, but uh, I found it online. I'll put a link right down below if you want to check it out. I think I got a pretty good deal on it. The question is, is it really going to work? So let me open it up here and take a look. Now I read all about this, read lots of reviews, and a lot of people have trouble with the squirrels and uh, the pigeons and the, the real big birds that, that tend to empty your feeder in short order. All right, well, no assembly required, but I'm working on disassembling it, apparently. Oh, there's a project helping scientists study winter bird populations. We're here in Texas, so we get a lot of migration through here. And general instructions and setup, never read that, right? And then a mini version of the setup, because it's the mini squirrel buster. And the warranty card. Okay. It's uh, it's simple but ingenious, supposedly, which is what you need to combat squirrels. Because man, are they ever smart. Basically, it's uh, you you put the feed inside, and it's weight sensitive to uh, I think it's set to about four ounces. So that if you get more than four ounces, either on these little perches or more than four ounces, this is a mesh that you know the birds can get their feet into, but of course squirrels can also get their claws into. If they get onto it though, and it's more than four ounces, it basically slides the outside part, which they call the shroud, down, and it shuts off the access to the food inside. So that's the principle. Let's see how it's gonna work in practice here. There's some extra parts. Maybe there's a little assembly required. This of course is the shroud. You get to put this much food in, which is much less than our other feeder. This also has um, some, I didn't realize this was an issue, but apparently um, because our pigeons ate all our food so fast, but if you have the feed stay in here for some time, especially during the summer where it gets hot, you get uh, humidity buildup in the tube and the, the bird food can go rancid. So this has got some, somehow they, they mentioned the feature that it's supposed to let the hot air come out and it pulls the fresh air in the bottom so it keeps the seed from going rancid. It's sort of natural air conditioning based on the physics of the tube. This looks like it slides around. I think this is to keep the squirrel from being able to climb down it. Okay. Aha! We got some spring action going there. So you hang it up. It's filled with feed. These are now open so the birds can get in there to get the feed, but if it gets too heavy, pulls the shroud down, close off the feeding ports. Mmm, this could be good. This might actually work. All right, I've got some seed. I went out and I researched the best type of seed to keep the squirrels and pigeons away, and apparently they don't like this um, black oil sunflower seed, so I got a feed that's mostly that, so that may help too. Anyway, I've got the perfect spot out here that's just been waiting. I see the little birds coming around every day saying, where's the food? So I'm going to fill this up, put it right outside our window, and we'll see what comes to feed on it and what it's able to keep from feeding on it. 